Mashallah, isn't that beautiful? Good afternoon, hope you're having a fabulous day. And I have been in Pakistan <coughs> for roughly about one month. And today I've been in Hazro and we're just on the way back to that wonderful village. Probably many of you have recognized it. Those that follow, those that are aware that we're entering Vesar. It's after Juma time, so the streets are fairly quiet. People will be having their afternoon off and they'll be probably <laughs> having a munch. So I thought I would take this opportunity to mention <coughs> all those people that have shown me, shown me love and respect and have asked me to record my journey as I enter the wonderful village. So in no particular order, here go the names. So in no particular order, first of all, I believe this is Fazl Karim Lala's house hiding in the distance. Fazl Karim Lala from Oldham wonderful influence upon me as a young person Lala I love you lots hope you are in good health along with the family so in no particular order uh, thank you massive thank yous to Shokat Rahman from Sheffield Musaddiq Tofail Abdurrahman Allah Zabit Khan Rais Amr Sidji Sijad Suleiman Allah Anwar Khan Allah too many people to mention. So Lebanala's market hiding in the distance there. As we approach, okay, the Veguno Ada. And in Vesa, we actually love a transit. And we love a Ford. And look, we love that. We love a clapped out Ford. As we are. And the names continue. Uh, Faisal Agno Azlala from the Money Exchange in Bradford. All the Oxford boys, all the Bradford boys, Mohammed Fiaz, if you're watching, Ibrahim Ruzi Khan, Abdurrahman Allah, and my one and only sister from Oldham. If you're listening, you know exactly who you are. So we're on uh, the Tajuk Ada, I believe, and it's uh, post Juma time, so the majority of the shops are closed. As we come to a Bradfordian's house, on the left hand side and I think Hafiz Shezad from Leeds Road lives somewhere over here too there it is in the distance as we just turn right into a local street and it says Haji Abdul Hakim on here and, and we have uh, the Janazga on the left hand side and also at the end of the road as well and there's probably lots of homes of the diaspora of those Pakistanis that are living overseas. Very, very private, high walls and high gates. And there's a lovely blue colored gate at the end of the street. And then a completely different <laughs> type of a gate with yellow walls. So look, totally random, I'm walking along, right? And look who I've bumped into. Hey Zubayd, say Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum. <laughs> Say salam to everyone. Salam to everyone. Yeah. Say salam. This, this is totally salam. random. Oh, look, yeah. I met Ayan as well, right? Amazing. And, and me, me and Ayan, right, when we have more time, right, we're going to go jet skiing, we're going to go on a boat, we're going to go to Islamabad, right? But the time is very little because he's going to be leaving soon and I'm leaving soon as well, right? But Ayan, you know, he's been here, he's going to make friends, right? Lots of friends. He's going to make strangers like me and we're going to become friends as well, right? And when I come to Oldham, right, I'm going to come and see him, inshallah, right? And we're going to party, right? Right? <laughs> so, so let, let's just carry on. I'm totally obeyed, like totally, totally randomly. We met in uh, we, Atak. Uh, in uh, Atak yesterday, Atak City, okay, yeah. and we had a little bit of a chat. And he's telling me that this house over here, so this is Manawar Khan Bai's house. Yeah. Opposite, okay. there's a Gubris, uh, Oppo opposite the Qabristan, uh, right? Let's, let's, go, let, of, let's go for a little, let's go for a little walk yeah, yeah. here, mashallah. So how long have you been here, Abed? I'm here last two weeks. Okay, and you're, and you're staying for? U usually I come here for uh, two months. Okay. But this time I'm with Ayan. Ayan is a bit bored. Okay. And he said, uh, uh, I'm going to pack uh, soon. All right. He's okay. missing his friends. Uh, he loves, he, he support uh, Man City. Man City? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So last no, no, night, he, hard, yeah. he, he was uh, specially wait for uh, to so 12 o'clock at night? He was one, watching one the football. morning. One o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. So this, on the right hand side, this is our house. All oh, right. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. So this is uh, Noah Panala's house. Yeah, and there's a share that they, they live in Oxford. 
Okay, look, so that's Sheer Dad Lala's house. Okay. Him, we went to Hajj together in 1998. With Sheer Dad Gagir. Oh, yeah. Great he's friend very, of mine. Very great person. Yeah. So if, you, if you're watching, it's the top of your house. And next time I'm here, I want the keys. Because <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm staying here, yeah. mashallah. You can park your car in the big, they got a big garden. Okay, it's so, a garage. Or so, so this is linked. So this is linked to the house. <laughs> yeah. Lala, if you're watching, <laughs> hope you're well. Hope you're wonderful. I keep. I didn't know this is your house. Otherwise, I'd be after the keys. They call the the keeper. So, mashallah, mashallah. So, mashallah, mashallah. Look. Oh, mashallah. Allah for the pakey Look, that isn't that beautiful, mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. Look. All colour coordinated as well, okay. That, that chakwal stone there. So this is called chakwal stone. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. It's uh, protected from sand, you know. Uh, ah, huh? right, okay. And there it is, mashallah. <laughs> That's Ubaid's house. And Ubaid is also a resident of Pakistan. And he's also a resident of Oldham. And Ubaid is keeping a few people off the walls, as you can see. Mashallah. Yeah. A little bit of protection, mashallah. Yeah. And I can hear the brum brum as well. And we've lost Ayan. <laughs> Ayan was watching Manchester City versus Manchester Liverpool City, yeah. at one o'clock in the morning and Manchester City won as well so it's probably jumping up and around. Yeah. Obed, last message just before I run. So I say ask everyone who uh, live to be a Saha village. Mashallah. And, uh, very nice weather here. I know England very... Yeah. Minus very seven. Minus seven is... So you can't walk outside. <laughs> here we... Weather is... Uh, Lovely. Plus, plus 12, very nice Mashallah. weather. Mashallah. So if we point that... Everyone, Mashallah. Uh, look yeah. after yourself. Keep, uh, remember us now, your prayers. <laughs> and isn't that a lovely message? Yeah. Okay, be great, take care. Take care. So, if I've forgotten your name, I apologise. But I'll go again. Bradford, Oldham, Manchester, Berry. Oh yes, and... And Jamil Khan, my wheelchair footballing superstar from the North East. Hope you're well, bro. Okay, this is also for you as well. So I am walking down, walking down the streets of uh, Marki Khail. Okay, um, and here we go. Fazal Mahmood, Vesa lives in Bradford. Okay, and this is Ali Zaman's house from Oxford. Hope you're watching, bye. Hi, up Nasser from uh, Leeds Road in Bradford. This is their home. Very uh, green and blue, mashallah. Oh, and Mahi Mama from Olam. That's their guest house on the corner. As we wander down the streets, a very quiet Friday afternoon in Avesa. And as we walk towards Masjid Kuba on the corner, God bless his soul, Miram Zakakaji from Oldham, that's their house on the corner. And as we look down the street, we have development of Oxford on the left and I think a little bit of Bradford on the right. So the sparky murky feel, mashallah malat. And I've been invited indoors to Shezad's place with the Tez Rahtar <coughs> and the vehicle hiding. I'll carry on walking down a quiet street of uh, murky feel all on my own. I can hear my voice echoing. So we have a house here, looks like it's at development stage. And mashallah, look on the right hand side there left hand side here and right hand side over here as I can hear a motorbike in the distance uh, I think this used to be a school before Assalamualaikum and another lovely home I think it used to belong to some Bradfordians a long time ago so the fabulous village of Vesa named many years ago after a gentleman called Oes Khan Vesa meaning that's how it is words to the nearest effect that's how it is <laughs> and I think this used to be Kari Kurban's abode many moons ago and I think that way it goes towards Shaheed Baba I think oh yes and of course Dost Mahmad Lala, Hanover Square, how can I forget you? Thank you for your support, thank you for your love. And I think this is your house. I think it's your house. So walk past a usual colourful rickshaw, Jinji. Tez or whatever they call it. Wa Swahiba, wa. That's nice. And Ibrahim and Ruzi Khan, I know your house is that way, over there somewhere. Another lovely gate very high-rise walls here 
And if you're a second generation or third generation Pakistani, let me tell you where we are if you've not been here before. So this is village Waisar, my favorite village, which is in the northwest of Pakistan in the district of Atuk. It's bordered uh, by Shadi Khan on one side, Tajuk on the other side, and surrounded by many more as well. We are roughly about uh, away from Islamabad, same with Peshawar as well on the other side. This place hold, holds very high value in, in history. This is a place where one of the first people, uh, Allah da, Dad Sahib, if I'm saying that correctly, grandfather of Abdurrahman Allah from Oldham, and his father, mashallah, who lives in Wurneth, Oldham, they left these places many, many, many moons ago, along with Haji Anur Khan Kakaji. These were, from what I understand, like educated individuals from the village who helped thousands of, of people and touched the hearts of thousands of people and changed the landscape for many Pakistanis that left these uh, lands and many people from Vaisan, the surrounding districts as well, by helping them, by uh, being administrators for them, writing letters for them, sending messages to Pakistan. Because remember, when they left in the 1950s or there or there, thereabouts, it wasn't the time of technology and it wasn't the time of communicating quickly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram. All these things were non-existent. In fact, these were just thoughts in people's minds that these things will happen after so many years. So it was very modest and many people that left these lands could not read and they could not write. So one person, often on a Sunday on his time off, would write letters um, telling people of what their conditions are like and those letters would arrive in seven days and ten days and twelve days from the United Kingdom back to Pakistan. So this place has been, been built upon major struggles and major sacrifices. And those sacrifices are, are, are bearing uh, fruit uh, in our lives where our lives are so much more uh, easier, so much more comfortable Ask the elders in your family what it was like in the 50s and the 60s and the conditions in which they came where they left these lands, no language, no language skills, no writing skills, going to a foreign land, not knowing where they're going to stay, who they're going to stay with. They just had hope and trust in God that they would be able to complete these journeys and make a life for the generations of the future. Well, here's another person's house being developed that lives in the United Kingdom. You know who you are. The first thing that all, always happens is I'm wrestled into the kitchen. Okay, <laughs> I'm keeping the camera low. Straight to food. Pakistan, food, tea and cricket alike. Hand in hand. Around the corner here, <laughs> I found my tailor. Let's go and have a look inside, see what he's up to. So Harris is uh, beavering away. He looks like he's um, undoing a cellular and he's about to fix it. Carry on wandering through. I think this is still Marki Khel. And we have some very nice houses with very, very high walls as you can see. And once again, the sand and there's some gravel. There's always some work going on. Construction is a never-ending thing like tea and cricket. In Pakistan, tea, cricket and eating on chapatis and paratas and construction work just go hand in hand. Oh yes, and obviously Rashid Lala. Uh, Rashid Lala, Grantham, Terrace Grantham Road, Bradford. Thank you as well for your love and support. I think Mohammed Fiaz and family are possibly here on the right-hand side of the road. And this is very unofficially disputed territory between Oxfordies and Bradfordies. It's not disputed really, I'm just joking. So you will see what I mean by graffiti on the wall that looks like this. And I'm sure the guys from Oxford and Bradford and BD8 and Manchester and Oldham and Rochdale and Bury and Newcastle and Sunderland 
and London and those that are watching in different parts of the world I've got something to say about that so wherever you're watching look hit the subscribe button hit, hit that bell icon like the videos share them with your family and friends as we stroll through Avesa is this the greatest village in the world well you can vote as we hit the Dulti Baba Ada I look I've yeah, found yeah. from here Lala from Oxford. So we start to head towards the middle Ada and eventually towards the Vegunu Ada. A little bit more lively now, it's prima rip time. A few more people out on the roads. If you fancy renting a car, there it is, Malik rent a car. Nijad Ahmed, Bradford, Siji Khan, Bradford. Hope all you guys are well. Thank you for your love and support. And Shoki, Shoki Rahman, if you are uh, watching from uh, Sheffield in England, you asked me about B and J Bakers and whether it's still around. So here it is. So the last time you had been here was about five years ago. So let me just take you and show you uh, inside. Let's see, see. Let's see who's behind the counter. Assalamu alaikum. We'll back to you and I'll show you who's behind the counter in a minute. <laughs> but let me show you what's going around. Asalaamu Alaikum Bhai. <laughs> yes, yeah, so look Shoki, it's still around Dubai, yeah. You can still have your cake and eat it. You can still have your rasgulas and eat it. And you can enjoy a drink or seven or a smoke or twenty. So somebody was asking me about Benson and Hedges Gold and I have no idea about cigarettes. But there it is. And they are 460 rupees per packet. Or better off stick to your cereals and look all overseas goods whether you fancy a chocolate or seven or ten and you have a whole load of aisles look very um, modern stuff if you fancy a wash or seven or a drink or seven or a bit of custard you can usually grab it at B&J's. In cold weather, if you fancy an ice cream, it's all here. MashaAllah, isn't that beautiful? 